How, how were things when obviously you were brought out of the coma and then brought back to the UK? What, what happened then? I think initially I was so grateful that I was alive and I honestly thought that I wasn't going to be alive, which was horrific and it made me realise how much I wanted to live. Um, and then when I got flown home, which my mum had to fight for me to get flown home, so after about a month of being in hospital in Rio, she wasn't happy with how I was being treated and we kind of got a little bit neglected to the side. I think people were scared of us because we didn't speak Portuguese and yeah. um, then my mum fought for me to be flown home and it actually... Did you go back on a domestic flight? No, it was on a, I was on a stretcher, yeah, on a medical plane. So I had to fly back with a doctor and a nurse okay. and it took 20 hours. We had Jeez. to make five stops. Oh, and then, um, yeah, which was horrific for my mum as well, especially because there was no toilet on the plane. <laughs> so oh, it, became, wow. it became the thing for my mum, just like, <laughs> don't, don't drink do this to me again. <laughs> yeah, she was like, don't you do this to me again. And then when I came home, it was... I think that's when it set in what happened and...